hello, welcome back. This is Kenshin1913, and we are Let's Play Dragon Quest VI for the Android and iOS. And mobile devices or whatever. Anyways, in the last episode, we made it to this Howl Town. I forget what the name of it is. But now we're hearing about the Prince Howard the Coward. Not Howard the Duck, but Howard the Coward. And apparently he doesn't want to go through a baptism. Oh, boo-hoo. I had to go through a baptism, and I was a baby, goddammit. This kid's a teenager. Just get on with it. Anyways, before we head in here, I'm actually going to change my party. Just due to the fact that, just to get someone else different in here, I'm going to put Ash Lynn in the group, and we're going to head in. And we're going to head up, and we're going to talk, talk, talk. How Castle. So yeah, this castle's kind of neat. Because it has a lot of uh, interesting um, back alleys and all that stuff. But yeah, apparently um, this soldier really wants us to go see the king. And Carver was like, oh, I thought he was going to fight us. Just like the other Storm Castle, or whatever the hell the name of that, Arc Bolt. Another mini metal, very good. Yeah, this guy sounds like, uh, this kid, Howard, kind of sounds a little bit like, um, Harry from the other game. A little bit of a jerk. But apparently it doesn't seem like that much of a jerk, because at least he's hanging out with the kids. I mean, he's not a loner. Yeah, he gets, he gets along with the kids better than he does the grown-ups. So yeah, we can uh, follow the red carpet and all that, and if we come over here, we got some barrels. Although I don't think there's anything in them, which stinks. So uh, yeah, we're looking, we're going to continue to look around here before we head upstairs. And I kind of like the, uh, I kind of like how there's a cool flag there. There's usually never a flag. You know, and there's a different, like, I think it's a different flag than other castles, I think. I'd have to go back and check. But yeah, uh, these secret passages are kind of neat. This one leads over here, which will become useful later. And then we have an old man over here. And an intelligence seed. Very nice. Yep. So apparently the prince likes to hide. Play hide and seek. Yeah. Good old Amos. Alright, so if we come over here, those are stairs over there. That leads up to the castle, I think. Oh, no, no, no. One of these stairs leads back to the courtyard, and one of them leads to the castle. Yeah, okay, this is the castle. Let's head over here and see what we got. I think this leads to Howard's room. Yep, yeah, there's the little prince himself. Oh, really? A slime so powerful he defeats cats. Gangs of cats. So apparently that slime has now left the nameless village. So it looks like Howard's not paying attention to that book. Alright, so apparently he's an idiot. Well, not an idiot, but... He's kind of a little pompous, I guess. And yeah, we can't open this door because we don't have a magic key. Which hopefully we will rectify... ...eventually. Anyways, let's go this way. And go up the stairs and over here and back over. Now we can go visit the king. 
Did I talk to this guy? Really, playing cards with the prince. That seems kind of interesting. Yeah, I guess the prince is a gambling kind of kid. It's bad to get him on gambling. Yeah. Wait, Howie, he's a sensitive child. A delicate disposition. Howard the Coward, yeah. So, what we're going to hear from this story is uh, pretty much... Yeah, old Amos. So, oh, Amos used to be, uh, y you know, he used to get picked on or something? Is that what that was? Yeah, so Howard doesn't train on the weapons. Which is pretty bad, he should. <laughs> yeah, so he's not gonna say that Howard is a, you know, a strong boy or whatever. Or a courageous youth. Nothing over here. Hello. Yeah, he, he does get lost a lot. He's just a little frightened kid. You know, I kind of cut him a little bit of slack if he wasn't so annoying. Yeah, what's a prince need armor for? I'll just slow him down. Yeah, it looks like these guys are, uh... These guys are kind of getting sick of, uh... Babysitting the prince, man. Yeah, it sucks. I mean, they should be out there fighting monsters or something. Defending the castle from invaders... Of all kinds. Anyway, so let's now talk to the king. So yeah, pretty much um, the queen kind of babies uh, Howard, calling him Howie and all this shit. Yeah, I hope that that's not doing it on the thing here, but we'll see. Yeah, so pretty much the king wants us to take this kid on his 15th birthday, it's happened, and he needs to go to the Howled, Howled Hallow. And he needs him to go and uh, pretty much get baptized. Yeah, and he doesn't want to complain in front of the, the wife. Because the wife, apparently, like I said before, pretty much babies him. Calls him Howie and all that. And yeah, I will take on this thing because there's nothing better to do. Honestly. Yep, journey of self-discovery, vanquishing monsters all around the world, finding my true self, which apparently is very important. Yeah, he pretty much escaped and ran away, although how did he know that we were here to bring him over there and now he's hiding? So now we have to go search for him. Yeah, now we have to be his babysitter, too. We got, we got, uh, we got friggin', we gotta be his babysitter. How crazy is this? This is unbelievable. So first thing we're gonna do is head to his room and see if there's any clues. Like some detective or something. Just call me Russ Cole. Rust Cole, I think that was his name. Rust. Rust. Yeah, where'd he go? Oh, so he hid in a barrel, huh? Where have we seen a bunch of barrels? Maybe we should go over there. Yeah, I forget Woody Harrelson's character's name in uh 
True Detective. That first season was really good. The second season, to me, wasn't bad, but a lot of people didn't like it. Alright, where are those barrels? They're over here. He's in one of these. Oh, here we go, Mary Bell. We found you. Hiding. No more hiding. This kid's getting on my nerves. Yeah, he's not a small kid. He's pretty much practically an adult at this point. You know? 15. Yeah, come on. Join my group so we can go and do this goddamn thing. Yeah, see, he's got to lie to his wife. Just be a big man and say, Hey, wifey, it's time for this little shit to go and become a man. You don't like it, then you go with him. Yeah, we're going to go with you. Let's do this. What do you have to do? Oh god, he went hiding again. This guy loves hiding. So what we have to do is find this little shit once again. But he, as you know, he went down the tunnel. And he probably went this way. And yeah, I hope the, this is a... Uh, I don't know why this episode... Hopefully it's not skipping too much for you. I don't know why it's skipping so much right now. Hopefully it's just smooth as we're going through it. But yeah, okay. So yeah, you're... You're coming with me, you little shit. Here we go. Now you're finally joining the group. Now stick with me or you're gonna get beaten. I swear to God, I wish I had some handcuffs. I'd handcuff this guy. I really would. So now we can leave Howl Castle and head off to the uh, Hallowed Howls. Howl. Whatever. The Deathly Hollows. Now we're going to head off to the Hallows. Yeah, so he's never going to... If you warp somewhere else, he won't be around. But once you warp back here, he'll be here. So, yeah. As long as we stay in this area... He'll hang out with us. <laughs> yeah, the, the prince is a little shit. I'm sure he's a good-hearted kid, but he's still... He's still a little bit of a bastard. Alright, so if we come in here... Yeah. This place is cold and wet. And before we continue in here, I want to put um, Millie in the group because she has got some nice healing. Oh, uh, what the hell? Why did he just run off like that? God damn it. So now you're probably thinking, where the hell did this little shit run off to? Well, he definitely didn't go back to the castle, so let's try that that town. Let's go to the goddamn town. Now, if you recall, there was a kid that mentioned how the prince used to come over and play. Hide and seek with him. So he must be over here somewhere. Hey, little boy. Yeah, 
This little shit's crying. Come on, man. You got four experienced, six experienced warriors with you. You're n nothing's going to happen. Yeah, don't let them slip away. This is why we need handcuffs. Yeah, he does seem terrified, but he shouldn't be. God damn it. Yes, I'm going to take you to the cave. And I'm not taking no for an answer. Jeez, man, just join and suck it up. You probably have some of the best gear in the area. I mean, shit, you're the prince. Your father should stick the foot the bill, man. I mean, you got a cape. No one in my group has a cape. Maybe, well, maybe Ashlyn. But no one in my, yeah. No, yeah, she does have a cape. But yeah, you got a cape, man. You should be pretty pumped about that cape. The cape's pretty cool. Alright, so now we're gonna continue through here. And now hopefully the prince won't run away. Good. Good, good, good. So this cave is a little tricky. Not too tricky, but... Pretty much there's gonna be three tests or monsters that are in the cave. And there's only a couple of treasures. Shitty treasures, if you ask me. Alright, we got ourselves a new enemy, uh, Wayward Armor, and even a Mud Mannequin. I, well, we might have seen him before. So, yeah, we're just gonna use uh, Harvest Moon and. Finnair. Now, the thing about this Wayward Armor guy is he likes to do this ability called Body Slam where he hits you for a, a pretty much a critical, but he, uh, he takes a good portion of damage as well. So, yeah, we got a Chain Whip, worthless item right now. Oh, we got new, well, no, I guess these aren't really new enemies, Mud Mannequins. Oh, well, let's just use Thin Air. As you'll see, Thin Air is the shit. Yeah, that's a good ability. That's what Carver should use all the time. Especially with groups. So, okay, here's our first test. You must be tested. Are you talking about HIV tested, or...? Alright, so first thing I want to do is cook Crackle. With this, I want to use Double Up. And you... Let's see, just attack and use tongue lashing. Yeah, I think this guy only has like a thousand HP, so. The only thing he does is uh, try to confuse you, which can be a pain, but it's not that bad. So try to kill him as fast as you can. Let's see, what should I use? Lightning. Oh, yeah, see, because he's made of fire. That's why that wouldn't work. Yeah, you know, let's just, uh, yeah, dumble up and tag. So let's keep beating this guy's ass. Yeah, as you can see, all he likes to do is dance. Although, getting us confused is not good either. There we go. First test done and dusted. Oh, shit, where's the prince? Oh, look over there. There he is, over to the right. There he is, to the right. Let's go and talk to him. Hello, sir. Yeah, tactical retreat. You know what? You could just hide behind us. Seriously. 
Please stop doing this. You're annoying. I wonder if there's supposed to be music being played there. I doubt it. Anyways, here's a new enemy. Stinkerbell and Harmon. Harmer. Wait, we might have met Harmer before. I, I don't remember. This hurts. Nice. Ooh, he isn't affected. Interesting. Let's see, where the hell is Hustle? There we go. Look okay, at Amos Gun. Nicely done, buddy. But yeah, we went through the first test. And you know what's kind of interesting is like, how does the magic of these doors know that the, that that these guys are like, oh yeah, you're you're of royal bloodline, sure. It could be anybody. I always found that kind of funny how Magic did something. It's like, oh, I know, you know, Magic's like caller ID. It knows when, uh, it knows when, um, you know, you're getting called. Oh, here's another new enemy, Devil Glass. Devil Glass, I think they like to blind you. They also like to, uh, well, no, maybe there's enemies later. They turn into you, which is kind of cool, I guess. But yeah, so like, magic is like a opposite call ID. Where it's like, oh yeah, you know, only this, uh, only this, uh, group can join the call or whatever, I don't know. I'm pretty tired. Uh, right, mini metal. Woo, mini metal. Yeah, this place is a little... Yeah, this place can be a little pain. Especially right here, where it's like this... There's this big thing... Above, and it's uh, kind of in the way, and it can be hard to see where you're going. Anyways, here's our second test. Now we must be tested for HPV. So yeah, this guy, you want to cast Kabuff, you want to use Oomph, Sap does not work too well, and you just want to hit him hard, preferably with uh, Knuckle, Knuckle Sandwich, because that seems to do more damage than Double Up, and you don't have to worry about, uh, you don't have to worry about what's his name, um, hitting you. And taking away a lot of the damage. Alright, let's use that. So I'm not too worried. There we go. Beat him up. Yeah, everybody goes before Kenshin can cast his oomph. Which is a real pain in the ass. Because you're like, come on, man. Just heal up. Or just uh, bring your attack power up. This guy is like 1,500 HP, I think. Yeah, 
And so the hustle dance is really, really nice. Honestly, I probably wouldn't need to do any more leveling up for, like, uh, jobs, but I'm gonna get some heroes, man. I'm pretty much gonna make everybody a hero. Almost everybody a hero. Oh yeah, there we go. Now he's got goosebumps and now he won't attack. Oh man, that could have been my opportunity. We get to screw it over. Alright, second test down. Oh shit. Look who's missing, the prince. Oh man, looks like we're gonna have to look for him, but we're gonna have to do that in the next episode. I've been Kenshin1913, and I'll see you later. Bye bye.